Hello and welcome to the first What's New with Microsoft 365 and Teams for 2022 covering the 1st to the 15th of January. So we have updates for lists, office, outlook, SharePoint, stream, teams and I'm delighted to see a comeback for Yammer. We haven't covered that for a little while. Look at those icons at the bottom. You can see the circle with a tick or the check. That tells you that the feature is available now. The little clock with the Zs. Uh, you can see that's like a snooze icon, so something that's been delayed. The icon with the bite out of it, so that's a bite size, just a short, quick update. And then the telescope for ones to watch. Those are uh, features which are a little bit further out, so we don't have many details, or I just don't have a lot uh, of information about it. So it's just one for you to keep an eye on. As always, folks, I'd ask you to uh, like and subscribe to the channel on YouTube. That's how you are watching this. Now, let's get straight into it. What have we got for lists? The new board view. So you will soon see board as an option when you're um, creating uh, new uh, views for your list. So you can see on the screen, let me just zoom into this for you. So you can see here, now this at first glance just reminds me of Plano. I use Plano day in, day out. I really like uh, the look of this because you, know, you can just drag, if you have like different um, stages, you can just drag them through, drag and drop. I think that, that looks really nice. Uh, you can configure which columns from your list are displayed in, in as these cards and in what order. So if you use Planner, you'll be familiar with the ability to uh, choose what you want to appear on, on the card. So that will feel familiar as well. That looks really good. Look out for this, folks, mid-January. So what's the date? 16th now. Any time now. Uh, up until early February, that's on desktop and web. Now let's have a look at Outlook. So this is just a known issue. I don't normally cover uh, this type of thing, but it kind of, it just caught my eye, so I thought I'd just flag it. Outlook search, so searching your emails, isn't returning uh, results after you upgrade to a Windows 10. And this is where the, the, the mail file, the, the, the file the emails in, is on your, is on, is on your machine. Um, now, very quickly, I've run out of knowledge for um, help desk or technical problems and that sort of thing. So what I've done is on the blog, I've put a link to uh, to, to this story, uh, and it's got a, a note on there about what the issue is and how you fix it if you need um, the, the, those, those um, results to work uh, straight away. Now, it will re-index eventually, but it, the, the blog tells you how to fix that. So if you've got that, head over to the blog, and I'll tell you how to do it. Okay, so suggested replies. Uh, this, um, just so on the web, on, on the web, this is the ability for it to make uh, suggestions to what you might type in. Press tab, and then it will it will uh, it will use the suggestion, or you just carry on typing to ignore it. Okay, so sticking with Outlook on the web, the group icons is changing. Let me just zoom in on here a little bit. So you can see here, we've got these groups, and this used to have a, a file type um, uh, icon, and I think this is better. This kind of tells you more of what it is. So it's these um, these icons here that, that looks like the, uh, the I would normally associate with Microsoft as being a group or, or groups of people. Um, that is uh, that, that's due uh, by mid February. That is one at the bottom. I'm not having refreshed the whole screen. This is the new experience uh, for updates to uh, Microsoft App Access. So let me just zoom in a little bit while I talk about this. So try and keep both of those on the screen. So uh, on the top there, look at the icons that, that down the left hand side. You can see we've got the different parts. So the the, the contacts. Um, uh, contacts, your calendar, uh, mail. So in the desktop version of Outlook, those are in the bottom left-hand corner, right now, if you picture that. So you're going to get this option here to turn on features which are, uh, are coming soon. So you might see in your in your desktop version of, of, of Outlook the option to turn on features which are coming soon, and that includes this thing that you see on the top here in the uh, the, the browser version of uh, Outlook. I personally prefer them up here rather than down the bottom. But look out for that, folks, and you can toggle that on and off and see whether you like it or not. Okay, so getting over to SharePoint, new content for the My Feed web part. Now, you have the option to add your feed in um, in, in SharePoint if you're allowed to, and you're going to get three types, three new types of content. First one is suggested tasks. So this is something that's a task that you have or 
uh, that you, you requested or someone's requested of you. So that's going to pop up. Um, you see that this one has come. It, it knows that someone has asked something of you in uh, an email and uh, you can add this to your to-do if you want to. So it's going to suggest things that it thinks that you should be doing. People highlights, so the people around you, so this is like you know, the birthdays, work anniversaries, all the kind of people side of, uh, the person side of your relationship than rather than work side. Now, they have to have allowed uh, the updates to coming from LinkedIn, that's where the source is, and if they haven't allowed that, then you won't see this. But it, uh, I guess it'll be interesting, just helps you, just, just helps keep the relationship side the people side of things ticking over as you see less of people because you're working from home maybe meetings out of routine this looks quite interesting so it knows when you normally have uh, your, your meetings and if you get to a, a meeting request that's outside of your routine so rather than you uh just automatically accepting it it's just going to flag the fact that it's outside of what you normally do uh, and do you want to reply or do you want to propose a new time and bring it back into your working day? This is becoming more of a thing, isn't it? People find, uh, okay, so you're not commuting uh, an hour each way on your, on your working day. So you just work instead and then you start a little bit earlier and then you finish a little bit later. So this is maybe it's Microsoft's attempt at just one of their many things they're doing just to chip away at that, pull those meetings back into your working day. Okay, look out for that uh, mid-January, so anytime now up until the end of the month. Okay, next up we have just a bite-sized update, the ability to add uh, taxonomy columns from the modern SharePoint library view. So you can see over here on the right-hand side, let me just do a little zoom in. You can see here that they're just creating a new column. The type of column is Manage Metadata, and they can set it up from there. So look at that for that um, in February. Section plates, templates, sorry, for SharePoint pages. So I don't know a lot about this, and I'll probably revisit this um, revisit this uh, next next week or in a couple of weeks maybe. So you know that you can have templates. Well, in SharePoint pages, you have different uh, sections. It looks like you're going to be, have uh, kind of pre-prepared templates for the sections themselves. So I'm really looking forward to that because I create... SharePoint pages, um, maybe not daily, but maybe most days I'll create a SharePoint page. Uh, so looking forward to seeing how that looks. Due um, in January for targeted uh, users, so some people will get it, but I will keep you up to date with it. Okay, so going over to the video service stream, the ability to add or edit captions uh, and the transcript for videos in OneDrive and SharePoint. So this is the ability to upload but also download as well if if you want to so this is where we're looking here let me just zoom in a little bit this is the new part that we're looking at so you see here that we're um, we've, we've gone into the settings going to the video settings and this upload option is the new bit so what you can also do is uh you can download it uh you can edit it say like in in, in notepad and then you can re-upload it quite often if you've got a video that's maybe some training or it's an important announcement for your company when you look at the auto-generated uh, captions, they do not always reflect what you said, okay? And it's and I'll say that I always tell people to, to double-check what the caption says. And you can download it, you can tweak it so it actually reflects what you said, and you can upload it again if you if you want. That is a hateful job. Um, I, I it's the last thing that I would I, I do if I had ever had my way. But sometimes you just got to do it, haven't you? Um, and then your uh, the people who are watching. Uh, watching the video uh, they can uh, then look at it on, on the transcript down the right hand side or they can see it you can see there it's on the the center of the screen so they can see it overlay over the video or they can read it down the right hand side now that's quite um it's out quite a bit isn't it so we're looking at uh, early to late april maybe i should have put that as a one to watch but um it's, it's interesting the amount of work's going into stream the stream that when it, the talk about onedrive and sharepoint videos uh Every week I feel like I'm telling you something about that. So it's good to see the amount of work that they're putting into that. Okay, so getting over to Teams, mute notifications during meetings. This feels like it should have been this from the start, right? So this new uh, setting to turn off uh, notifications during meetings, you can see here on the right-hand side, so the person's gone into, into settings, then gone into meetings, and then here we've got some options uh, for for, um, for for Manage, not just turning them off, but managing notifications during a meeting. Or, if you want to, you can also uh, do them on a per 
meeting bases. That previous one, sorry, was your was your kind of global setting for all your meetings. This one here, you can see here that we have got uh, near the bottom. Uh, this new option here, allow notifications, and that looks like you get less less control over it, right? So it'd be interesting to see how that works in reality. The the, the previous setting I showed you looks like you got more options, but either way, I, I like the look at that. Um, due um, uh, early February to uh, mid March in Teams. Oops, gone the wrong way. Okay, so what else do we have? Uh, Walkie talkie in iOS, so it's the ability to. Um, to, to just press the talk and this is for your personal device or a work provider device and that's available right now in the Apple Store. Expanded reactions in Microsoft Teams. Now I feel like I've been rattling on about this forever as well. So you can see the reactions to what someone has said there. There's all types of all types of uh, reactions. Now at the moment you know that you have like the thumbs up, the smiley face, the shocked face, the uh, sad face and an angry face. Is that it? Maybe there's one more. Maybe well, whatever. Um, anyway, so you're going to now get the option of up to 880, something like that. So uh, look out for that. I know that um, certainly one place that I know of, they're not super happy about that, that because of the ability for them to be misinterpreted um, as people when people look at them later. But let's see how that looks. I, I personally like all that fun stuff. Uh, look out for that, folks, uh, any time now, but might be as late as March. The improved Teams guest user usability that I told you uh, about last time. So this is just the ability to have more control over uh, the guest accounts that you've got. You go to settings, look at your accounts, and then you, you remember you had some more options in there. I should have really included the uh, screenshot. I do apologize. Anyway, that is now due in the next couple of weeks and should be with us by the end of the month. Now let's just go around Microsoft 365. I've got to be honest, folks. I didn't know what to call this section. This is just uh, bits that um, that either span more than one application, um, or they just they don't really fit anywhere else. So if uh, if you've got a better name for this, let me know. Um, so what we've got here, so an update to the conversations results in Microsoft uh, Search in Bing. So. When you uh, do a search at the moment, the, uh, the the results, the conversation results, includes content from Teams and from Yammer. Now, it's going to also include content from Outlook, so your emails as well. Let's just have a closer look at this. So you can see here that we've got uh, we've got Teams results, Teams Outlook, Teams. So it's looking into there. But what also is happening? You can see there's a new. I'm going to call this a tab. I know it's, it's it's not a tab. They've got some silly name that they um, use. What's it called? Oh yeah, vertical. So they call it, these are verticals, apparently. I'm just going to call it a tab because that's what a normal person would call them. Um, if you've got a better name than vertical or tab, drop that in the notes as well. But for now, they're tabs. So Yammer's getting its own, but also Yammer's getting uh, some some more updates. So that experience in Yammer is going to get even better soon, apparently. Uh, due uh, mid January, so any time now, but as as late as middle of March, maybe. Previously told you about the video creation on Office Mobile. Now, someone at uh, the, the Inform team, I remember um, when I posted this, I wasn't sure whether it would get uh, that much interest because it's it's kind of niche in my head. It's kind of niche creating um, the, the, and managing the content on a mobile. But I guess if you're out and about and do something on the fly, I guess it's useful. But and that did actually get some interest. So it's interesting to see who that does um, who that does appeal to. So. If uh, that is a note to you, look out for that, folks, any day now, but might be as late as the end of February. Here's a blast from the past. Remember me telling you about this? This feels like it's, I've been talking about this forever. So in um, in PowerPoint, Excel, and Word, you get this section here of the recommended files. So you know behind the scenes, folks, Microsoft 365 knows what documents you access. It knows who you work with, uh, who, uh, who you have some meetings with who you normally collaborate with, and then if they're collaborating on something that you've got access to, maybe you want to see that as well. Uh, something changed that, that you've previously looked at, then maybe you want to see that. And it's going to make these, rec these, rec make, make these recommendations to you. Now, it's due, it's due between June last year, so <laughs> it's a big gap, isn't it? Uh, but some of us might not see it until February uh, this year. So that's due. It looks like um, they're just wrapping it up. And if you don't have that yet, you should probably have that soon. Okay, wow, that was quick. So I just want to tell you about an idea I'm having. Um, and, and I'll maybe expand on this on the blog or, or maybe the next couple of weeks. But are you a trainer? 
and would you like to show off your skills? Would you be interested in, in, in doing a video with me uh, where I'll introduce a topic um, and I'll introduce you uh, and then I'll, I'll record all the screen stuff, I'll do all the production, I'll get it uploaded uh, onto, uh, onto YouTube, uh, do, we'll do, put it in its own blog if you want to, uh, some information about you, uh, some details about the thing that you're presenting, whether it's just, I don't know, how to create a great meeting in Microsoft Teams, um, how to make the best of, of lists, maybe uh, fluid components, you want to talk about that. Maybe you're coming to the end of a contract, and or, or, or your employment and you want to just show off your skills uh, and then of course you can I'll make that public then you can point to that from your um, for, for, from your CV or, or from LinkedIn or however you show yourself off so I don't, I don't care what the topic is I don't care what your level is um, you know where if, you, if you may be new to presenting online have a go anyway drop me a note get in touch with me and uh, We'll see what we can sort something out. I'd be really interested in, in seeing if that's of interest to people. Maybe have a little showcase area uh, for people to, uh, to to show off their skills, but also it gives you something to uh, to, to push to if you're looking for uh, to showcase what you can do. Anyway, folks, remember that you can keep up on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn. There's a podcast. There's a blog. If you go to, uh, to, to, the, to the blog, you can sign up for the newsletter so you get notified of, of new content. Uh, just use Super Simple 365, folks, and you should be able to find uh, me and all that content. But for now, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks.